So just want to run down and kind of the electrical setup that I um, uh, just got done. So uh, basically here's my breaker. Um, I went ahead and ran two wires. Uh, each of them were 240 volt going um, on how many amps were they? I think it was 40 amps each for both of them. Uh, 40 was one and the 40 was the other. And so the deal is is that the mining room is located almost almost directly above uh, the garage here. And so what we ended up doing was is that uh, I ran the wiring, well not me, I, an electrician ran the wiring from up here, and this is where the pre-existing wiring was already running, but uh, we ended up taking it up here, cut a hole in the drywall up here, and uh, ran the wiring down all the way over here, and that was pretty easy, and there was an access spot right over here, and then um, we got it till right there, and we had to cut a spot there. Then, when we were coming back this way, because the mining room, the easiest way to get there was to go up from here. Um, so really the problem was is that there's uh, studs running, uh, I guess perpendicular to this wall. And uh, so what that ended up doing was is that we had to run wiring across that. So we had to cut out from right over there, and then cut out another hole there, another hole there, another hole there, across all the studs. And then uh, let me go ahead and go upstairs real quick. Um, but we ended up just cutting a hole over there and we went upstairs and drilled down and uh, figured out where to pass a wire through from. So eventually we got to this wall and this is where we cut just one of these squares out and uh, we drilled down and we found out where to bring the wiring up from. And so the garage is right under here. And so we ended up bringing that up from there. The issue was is that this wall only goes till here but the actual garage wall goes pretty far past there. So. We weren't able to go up directly from the uh, the breaker box because that would have ended up in the living room out here. And so, um, like I said, so we ran the wiring down and then all the way down here in the garage and then we ran it up from here. And uh, then basically installed uh, four switches. Uh, two of them are running on one wire, two of them are running on the other wire. And uh, I believe it was a total of 40 amps uh, for each wire, so that's 20 amps each. But I'll have to double check because I'm wondering, because we were doing a lot of last minute things, I'm wondering if we had switched that to 30 amp each. But uh, regardless, I ended up uh, getting that done about a couple days ago, it was completed. And then uh, I was just waiting on this PDU to come in. So I bought this guy used uh, for about, um, man, I want to say 200 bucks or so. I mean, it's kind of pricey, but at least in the U.S., uh, they're pretty difficult to find these 240-volt PDUs. Um, I found plenty of 12-volt ones, but finding a 240, 30-amp was not too easy. And so, uh, regardless then, so uh, I got that plugged in, and now, basically, all of these machines for now are running off of uh, that guy. And then I'm also running just some normal 12-volt for random accessories, like my uh, Ethernet switch and... Um, my this fan and then also the the monitor which i know i can run from the 240 but i was just thinking let me just run it off this for now and if i need the room i can almost swap it over because i've got plenty of extra cables um if need be that the ebay seller threw in there uh with it uh regardless though looks like we're running at 244 volts at about 6.8 let's say about seven amps uh, so not so bad, uh, running seven amps, I mean, again, safe side, let's say I even double this up and get to like 15, I mean, that's sounding pretty good to me, and, uh, again, I have kind of some wiggle room to get to maybe 17, 18, but I just want to be careful in case, uh, maybe some overclocks go wrong and, the, you know, power usage shoots up, I don't want to burn something out, but, uh, regardless though, um, this, uh, PDU does have built-in surge protection and and all that i don't think it has i'm not sure if it's fused or anything so meaning if i overload it it's not a good thing but at least with uh, electrical surges and stuff i should be better off and uh, it helps a lot because now i'm not running cables from outside and you know bringing them in from all these different locations i'm basically just running off of this one wall socket and then uh like i said that one 240 volt um but regardless though it's looking pretty good um I will probably end up bringing my other PC back here, but at the same time, I'm kind of wanting to expand over here, get a, another rig going, but I think I'm going to wait on that for at least a little bit and kind of hit some sort of ROI, like a certain percentage, maybe 50, 60% of ROI, then I might be feel a little bit more comfortable 
throwing money back in. And uh, the other thing is, though, to note that the GPUs are pretty expensive in the sense that, I mean, let's say I want to expand right now. I got to go off eBay and pick up uh, another one of these uh, frames. I need to go pick up at least one power supply. Let's say I'm just starting off. I only want to have one card. Uh, and then I need to pick up a motherboard, processor, RAM. I mean, I already have a good amount of these risers and all that, so I'm not too worried about that. But regardless, though, it's, it's just a lot of expense to get started up. And so I'm just wondering if I should invest more in this or maybe if I should go uh, investing more in the Chia route because, I mean, I can pick up another hard drive for like 150 bucks and grow that side. Um, but I'm thinking to keep them relatively separate in the sense that any sort of money that I'm getting from uh, Ethereum mining or GPU mining in general, um, I'm thinking to just keep that within the GPUs and then anything I'm getting from Chia, I'm thinking about keeping that on the Chia side. Um, I'm not going to make an update right now uh, just because it's only been two days since I released the last video, but uh, I'll probably end up making another video um, whenever I get a chance updating on the Chia and uh, also the Ethereum or GPU mining. I keep saying Ethereum, but I'm barely even mining Ethereum. So regardless though, um, I guess thanks for watching.